This video will examine the topic graphing a function of the form f of x equals ax squared. Let's first analyze the graphs of these functions and compare them so we can understand their behavior. As you can see, the functions in the form f of x equals ax squared are parabolas. They all are symmetrical about the y-axis. The parent function is f of x equals x squared when the leading coefficient a equals 1. Changing the coefficient of x squared to 2, the parabola thins. This happens because the values of y are increasing two times as fast when a equals 1. Changing the coefficient of x squared to 1 half, the parabola widens. This happens because the values of y are increasing 1 half times as fast as when a equals 1. This pattern holds true for all fractional and whole number leading coefficients. What if there is a negative leading coefficient? Good question. When the coefficient of x squared is negative, the parabola will open down instead of opening upwards. Now, let's go through an example on how to graph one of these functions. Here's the example that we will do. Graph the function f of x equals negative 1 half x squared using the x values negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. First, make a table containing two columns, x and f of x. Fill in the x values we were asked to use. Now, we will substitute each x value into the function for x. First, we substitute negative 2 for x. It is very important to put parentheses around negative 2 because this helps us remember that we are squaring the negative as well as the 2. The function becomes negative 1 half times negative 2 squared. To simplify this expression, we must remember PEMDAS. PEMDAS specifies the order of operations when there are two or more operations in an expression. First, you calculate expressions in parentheses, then calculate exponents. Next, calculate the multiplication or division, whichever comes first from left to right. And last, calculate the addition or subtraction, whichever comes first from left to right. Following this method, there is nothing to simplify in the parentheses, so we move on to the exponent. Exponents tell us to multiply a number by itself a specified number of times. In this case, negative 2 squared means that we need to multiply negative 2 times negative 2. So, negative 2 squared equals negative 2 times negative 2. Two negatives multiplied together equals a positive, so negative 2 squared simplifies to 4. Substituting this back into the function, we have negative 1 half times 4. Multiplying, we get negative 4 over 2, which simplifies to negative 2. If you would like to use a calculator to solve this, do not forget the parentheses around the negative 2. So, the first point is negative 2, negative 2. Why don't you give the next one a try? So, substituting negative 1 for x, I get negative 1 half times negative 1 squared. Following the order of operations, I need to calculate the exponent before I multiply by negative 1 half, right? Correct! Okay, so negative 1 squared means I have to multiply negative 1 by negative 1. A negative times a negative is a positive, so negative 1 squared equals 1. That's right! So now substituting 1 in for negative 1 squared, the function becomes negative 1 half times 1. Since anything times 1 is itself, then the answer for f of x when x equals negative 1 is negative 1 half. Excellent work! Now we know our second point, negative 1, negative 1 half. Continuing this for the rest of the points, we get the five points negative 2, negative 2, negative 1, negative 1 half, 0, 0, 1, negative 1 half, 2, negative 2. Now we plot the five points and draw the function. This is the graph of the function f of x equals negative 1 half x squared. Okay, but why did we plot five points instead of a different amount? Graphing five points allows us to accurately depict the shape of the function. Using fewer points can skew your final sketch and cause your answer to be wrong. Of course, you may plot more points if you like, but five is enough to maintain accuracy. That makes sense. I think I'm ready to practice on my own.